There you go. As you can see, I'm very colourful today. This shirt is from Trade Mutt. It's uh, a gift. I've got two of them sent to me for my work with mental health. And uh, they, they sent them to me. To say thank you and uh, I appreciate it. I am still trying to get my head around wear, wearing something so colourful. I'm not used to wearing this much colour, but so far I've had pretty positive uh, response. Not to say that response has come from the male gay community, because it hasn't. It's uh, come from women, actually, mostly. They said, hey, no, it's great. I might get used to wearing it. It's comfortable. I don't know why my collar's up. Maybe I've got an Elvis complex. And as you probably have worked out by now, I'm not holding the phone with my hands like I normally do. I've got an actual phone holder in the car. Anyway, it's been pissing down cats and dogs. The weather's been shit this year. I mean, it just the summertime, there's been so much rain. It's bugging all the cherries next door pretty much. And uh, I'm trying to get out and go do some fishing, but the amount of rain it's just so chocolate out there and it's so messy, so there's no fishing. What I am doing is I'm heading on down to Mapua now to check my houseboat and make sure everything's okay because there was a shitload of wind yesterday. It was blowing its tits off, so I want to go and make sure that everything's okay there. Right, we'll uh, pause the phone and I'll talk to you down the road. Just moving past uh, Ruby Bay where I do a lot of my fishing out here and there's been a lot of flooding and the hills all fallen down. And I'm just thinking to myself, jobs I need to do, and one of them is I need to get four new tyres for this truck. I previously had BF Goodridge tyres, which were cool, and uh, I might, and uh, they were good. What do you guys think is the best value tyre to buy? I don't want all terrains, I want muddies, because I don't want to get stuck, because I do a lot of off-road in this. Best mud tyre grip value for money that you have experienced. I think BF, the BF um, uh, Goodrich runs are bloody good. Tell me what you think, because I'm going to have to spend some serious dollars and get some tyres for this unit. Let me know. Okay, another thing I want to ask you, I'm asking you for your help today, because I know a lot of you guys out there, most of you guys out there know a lot more than I do about these sorts of things. I have for years and years been looking at buying a Toyota Land Cruiser. I've got an old one, I've actually had two. I gifted my last one to my mate Kev. Uh, I'm looking at the late model ones, but right now I'm also looking at everything that's four-wheel drive. This truck I've bought new since 2013, it's got over 100 on the clock and it's costing money. It hasn't stood up to the tests I've given it the bush and the rubbers, lights are all staffed at the back. It's, um, yeah, I'm not that uh, really that impressed to be honest with the uh, Toyota Hilux for what I've got out of it, for what I paid for it. So that begs the question, why am I looking at Toyota Land Cruiser when Toyota clearly aren't up to what they used to be 10, 20 years ago? I mean, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it was the bee's knees to have a Toyota. Back then it was the Hilux, but I don't know. What do you guys think? If I was to buy another four-wheel drive, one that I can take young fellas away in, uh, dogs, would a double cab Toyota Land Cruiser you know, cut the mustard? Is it overpriced? Would I be better off to buy? Would I be better off to buy like a Mitsubishi or I don't know an Isuzu or a Ford? Did I just say that? Someone wash my mouth out, please. But hey, Fords—they're not bad. I'll give them a hard time, but really, they—they they build a pretty good truck. You know, the D Max is a—they're not bad. Yeah, you know, but what is the what is the one that's um, you know Colorado? I think that uh, Hilux is. Uh, it's probably no better than the rest of them now, as far as the common rail engine goes. The common rail engine came about in 2004, and this truck has had a lot of problems. Uh, Toyota have never wanted to sponsor me, and I'm kind of glad they didn't now, because I can talk openly about the uh, pros and cons. I just drove a, a Mitsubishi uh, about six months ago, and I was impressed. I test drove a Merc, I've got a video on that about a year ago. And I wasn't impressed for the money, definitely not. It was like driving a big Nissan, I thought. Uh, give me your thoughts. Not, don't tell me what you like because you know 
it's if, if you're a Ford person, you've always had Ford, and you're not going to change. Give me your thoughts overall, like your non-biased opinion on vehicles in general, because I'm kind of keen to know. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Captain Clay speaking. We are entering the township of Marpua. It's a beautiful 27 degrees. The rain is gone, and the sun has come out. On our right hand side we've got the Spriggan Fern, it used to be known as a tap, and many years ago it was called the vines I think, or the grapes, are ah, the grapes that's right, and left hand side we've got the service station, known as Perry's Auto Services, on the left hand side we've got the shops and the four square, the main uh, shopping centre and then the medical centre next to that. We're heading down Aranui Road. Main road of Mapua. And we're heading into Tahi Street. The Tahi Street goes right down to Grossi's Point. One of my most favourite places in the universe. bad actually it's a good time to come down because it looks like ebb tide right we'll stick the outboard motor on i've got this in the back here stick it on my dinghy and uh head out to sea my mother gave me this boat and uh it leaks as you can see the fiberglass needs replacing but it uh, does the job my last one got stolen that's my old launch just doing a circle of it i'm not going to go on board today Looks okay. Get everything tidy. I'm gonna head on down to the, the houseboat. And that's looking back across this point. Pretty windy, and the car's pretty strong. I've twice come through trying to grab it. I'm quite getting it right. Here we go this time. Perfect. What are you? It sits nicely in there, the old dinghy. Well, welcome to the houseboat. The last time I came here, I had a lot of clean up to do because the uh, swallows had got in and they'd pooed on everything. And I can see, by the looks of it, they have not been back since I gave it a clean. I cleaned the gully last time. There's no sign of any poo here. It's pretty good. Today, oopsie, today, gonna fix that up. Today, I'm gonna clean this up. Check everything. We're all good. I'll put this there back because it got wet last time. See, there's been a bit of leakage again, a bit of water's come in through the front, a bit of mould. It's because of the wind we had last night. That's my my room there. 
and uh, this boy is twisted up in the front and there's too much current right now for me to fix it up I need to uh, deal with that later on should not be like that and in the distance you can see the other ferry that my father built the Mapua ferry just crossing there there's a lot of wind out there today there she goes taking people from Mapua to Rabbit Island that's where it's crossing now right we'll uh, start with the stove give that a clean and then I'm gonna actually no before I do that I'm gonna put the motors down and run them just give them a run because they've been running for a while charge battery and then I'm gonna do some clean up here fix this up make sure gas is off yes gas is off always important to check that this needs a bit of a clean up here from the outside Look at all the shit coming down, all the wood. This is what's dangerous about having your boat in this channel. Big logs come down and smash into it. Somewhere water's coming in here. You can see this is all discoloured right along here. And it's also tracked in a little bit along here too. You can see along there. It's wet. It's not good because it can cause dry rot. And a little bit up inside here. That's coming through there. I've tried to find it, I've been up on the roof, I've painted it God knows how many times. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off now and check underneath it. See if it's wet because we just had a whole lot of rain. Right, is that wet there? Not much. What's it like up inside? The insulation feels dry. Okay, that's a good sign. It's dry up in there. Very dry. So where's the water tracking from? That's dry. I keep going back to this here. This vent here. I keep going back to that. My father tells me there's a beam going through here. It can't possibly get over to there to track, but water's a bastard for tracking around. What does it feel like up in here? It feels reasonably dry too. Pretty dry as well. Yeah, it's got me stuff, man. It really has. Got to find out where it's coming from. But after all the rain we've had, I thought that it'd be wet up in here, but it's not. The insulation. It's a. Uh, oh, maybe a wee bit. Overall, not really. But clearly, you can see. I think I did get it, I think I patched it up and it's just left over, it's not getting any worse, I'm just imagining it, I, I hope. Dried rot is your enemy. Right, before I start on this, I've got to start these engines, get these uh, motors going. The first thing is to, is to drop them. Actually no, before I start them, I'm going to clean them because the birds have made their nests on them and shit all over them, particularly um, the port one on the side here. You can see that? It's a Yamaha. 9.9 .9 and it's got all that dirt on there. I'm going to clean that off because it's quite dirty all over. And if you just leave stuff on like that, it just gets worse and worse. So we're going to start with that job. We'll come back to that in a minute and then we'll tackle that one. Clean. Just down. Right, eh? Prime it. Push to prime. And turn. Bit of acceleration. There she goes. She's trying to go. Yep, she's running sweet. This is a starboard motor. Uh, as you can see, she's relatively clean. It's had no birds nesting on it. We'll drop that down and start it. Prime. About five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Nah. She's away. She died. No, she's 
she's awake. No, she's dead. She's going now. Yeah, she's going good. Just open the front door up. You'll see the swallows have nested up here again. I'll have to take it away. Sorry, birds, but uh, just can't have it. It blocks everything up. All the shit breaks the uh, breaks down the cables. And uh, as much as I like bird life, brings a lot of shit into the boat. Thank you Australian Swallows for the poop. Right, we'll give that a clean. Sorted. You can see all the rubbish coming down. Look down over here. All the wood coming down. It's a real problem. Because it gets around the motors and just gets around everything. It just blocks it all up. And the uh, wind's been too, too swift for me to fix this boy up. Lots of shit coming down. Heaps. Wind's coming up. Well, that was bloody dodgy going off the boat. Some big uh, waves. See quite a lot of stuff caught up over here. On boys and stuff. It's the big logs like this that come down that can do the damage. That's actually stuck on the bottom a little bit. Stuck on something. That wraps around the boat. Can do all sorts of damage. It's a big piece of tree. It's heading straight towards them too. It's a bloody big piece of wood. They've come off the bottom. Just keep an eye on that one. Big piece of willow tree. Yeah, it's not flash at all. Holy, holy cow, mate! Are you sure that's feral? It's feral as me. <laughs> Are you sure that's a wild one and not a domestic one? Yep. So you got it on wild land or on a farm or something? It's fine. Oh, it's a farm? Yeah. It's my, it's my hunting block. But it was a wild goat? It's a wild goat. No tag in there? You can check. It looks like um, domestic stock, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got some domestic in it. That's why it's so, so big. big. That is a trophy goat. Yeah. So where's all the meat? Down the bank. No, we couldn't, couldn't carry it out. It's a bit heavy. It was a stink. It stank, it man. Stank. Be honest, it stank. That was the reason. Well, is there a place where pigs will be able to feed on it? Yeah. That's that was good. half the reason, pig dump. Oh yeah? Bring them in. Yeah, yeah he saw one this morning. Yeah. Um, what, did, you, did you see a pig this morning? Yeah. What did you see? standing up. Oh, it's probably like 70, 60. Oh yeah? yeah. It's big black. It wasn't that big. Just Shit. Straight through the so you're going to go back and have a crack at it? Yeah. Yeah, and I've got another block that we can have a look at. Okay. And we'll go up, up in the morning somewhere else. Yeah, hey, um, anyway, congrats winning your GoPro competition. Pretty cool. We'll organise a GoPro for you. We've actually got one there that's been sent to us, but it's a wee bit um, outdated, I think. We'll get something a bit more modern for you. Right. Yeah, well, it came down to you and Smash between the two of you, and you had a, it was a half a point, in it? And it was your last one that um, did it. The last one. Yeah. With Pat. Yep. Yeah, it was the last one. You got everything right. Uh, Smash gave you a good run for, for his money, and in fairness, um, he didn't get quite as much time on the hill as you because he's playing rugby, so. And you would have also won our best hunter of the year award, but you you stuffed yeah. up with your firearm safety. Yeah, I did. That's okay. It's a bit gutting. That's how you learn, mate. You're, yeah. you're there otherwise. Or actually, that's not quite true. You still need a bit more knife work to do. But you're getting there. I mean, you know, you're actually, now you're 17 soon, aren't you? Yeah, January. January? Yeah. 
Yeah, man, he's, he likes you. He's comfortable with you. <laughs> he's, like a, he's like a miniature cow. A miniature cow. <laughs> so these two roosters are going to Chatham Islands. This bloke here has taken him to the Chatham Islands, so there's going to be some, some diving, some fishing, and some hunting very soon. Do you want to take him to the Chathams with you? Yeah, right in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to take me down, not, not jump in between my legs. Oh, he's comfortable when I'm around. It's different if I'm not here, eh? He's a different dog if yeah. I'm not here. If I'm not here, then you wouldn't do that. It's completely different, yeah. He's actually a guard dog, but he's also trained to be friendly. That's part of his job, you know, because I have a lot of people come here, so... He's a dog at Argentino. They're actually a, a brutal dog. It's far as, um, <laughs> Yeah, well... Some people have been stuck in their cows, not able to get out here. He's been growling at them. His teeth are all worn down. He's pretty, pretty old, aren't you, boy? Yeah, well done with the goat, mate. Yeah. So, what are you, you, you're obviously not going to get it stuffed because you've cut it too far back. You haven't caped it. Yeah. So, you're just going to keep the um, horns, boil it? Yeah. yeah, probably. Go bury it or something. You can boil it, or you can use my copper and boil it up if you want to do it here. You can set it up and put it in the copper if you want to boil it here. I've got a copper for it. So, I'm going to give these fellas uh, Jody Pace MB. Because I trust him with the dogs, we do a lot of hunting. Um, that's Pace's collar, mate. I don't know how charged it is. I'll give you a charge so you can put in charge when you get home. And I'll give you this one here for B. And as far as the Riptide goes, put that on for, for B. Yeah. And I'll give you a unit. So this is a hunt that uh, all three of you are going? Or two of you? Just you two? Just those two at this point. Okay. So this fella here, what's your name again, bro? Marty. Marty, yeah. Marty's from the Chatham Islands, and uh, he's taking Jody to the Chatham Islands next year. That's heaven. Pig hunting, deer stalking. You can shoot a wild bull there. I guarantee you, his old man. I know he's a wild bull. I guarantee it. What's that, mate? Can shoot anything. Yeah, you can. Apart from sheep. Yeah, well, yeah, sheep get shot too. There, man. <laughs> There's wild ones running around, eh? You learned a lot of swan shooting. What's that? Swan shooting. Swan shooting, yes. Yeah, hundreds of swans, eh? Yeah. And they need to be culled because they make a hell of a mess. And it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also wicker in season. We can try wicker. It'll be a first. Wicker's delicious, mate. It's like a mixture of pork and chicken. Yeah. It's really good, eh? You marinate it. Do you like wicker? Yeah. Yeah, me too. If it's marinated. Yeah. yeah. I like crayfish done like um, raw, just with wasabi. Have you ever had that? Have you had it with tomato sauce and mayonnaise? I can't say so I have. <laughs> I'm going to bring you back one. Okay, mate. With mayonnaise and tomato sauce and yep. love it. Okay, cool. Right, I will get this other unit for you, uh, the handheld. Okay, I've given Jody my 14, three rounds and a GoPro. And uh, this guy looks like he can carry anything out. Fair, oh, fair comment? Yeah, he's going to make me do it anyway. He's going to make you do it anyway, yeah. You're a little bit bigger than him, aren't you? I'll weave it. Weave it, yeah. Still beat him in a fight. Still beat him in a fight. I love to see that. Let's not put that on you. Yeah, let's not do that. No. <laughs> hey, uh, they stayed in a hut last night and they went in without sleeping bags, and they got bloody cold. Mm. He was alright. He, he was, was okay. He was snoring when I was listening to it for seven hours. Is that right? Mm -hmm. He's a tough little bastard, isn't he? Yeah. yeah not okay. Really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Safe. Okay. Hey, good hunting. Be safe. Yeah. Yep. Good hunting, mate. Grab those dogs, tear into it. Yep. This is a great hunting wagon, look at it. An God, that stinks, that goat. Whoa. Oh, I'll stick them in your hunting wagon. Hunt, won't it? Yeah, mate, yeah, it'd be all right, yeah. Right. So we can go Pretty much, yeah, it's, it's cooling down there. Yeah. We won't, won't go to the Peters with the dogs. Yep, anything generally under 16 degrees is okay for heat for these guys. Right. Smack them in the truck and uh, good luck. Pace come, be come. They just get on the side, man. Yeah. Up. Up. Pace, up. On the front. <laughs> Easy enough. Just be careful closing doors always, yeah, for tails and paws. <laughs> What's that? Bear. Clay. Oh, clay, oh, clay tickets. Yeah, we figured. Bit of fun. Bit of fun. Okay. Alrighty, see ya. You need to back yeah. out here, mate. See ya. I see you got potato chips for your uh, evening meal. It's a good nutrition. Yeah, it was three for $4.50. So. Three for $4.50.
Hey, good to meet you, fella. Yeah, you too. See you later, man. Cheery. I'm in doggy heaven. <laughs> That's your new baby, Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kepo? Okay, Poe's good. She's all sweet. Scratched. Mm -hmm. My puppies have been looked after. All good. Yep, she's pretty happy to have oh, some the other break. Missing out. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of deeper brown, eh? It's stocky, eh? Mm, that's solid. So, have you got homes for some of them? Like yeah, they're going all to patrons. Oh, um, yeah. I'm going to do a New Zealand trip and deliver them myself. Oh. Nice, because that won't be for another, what, two months? No, no, it'll be another um, probably four oh, weeks. Oh, really? Eight weeks will go, eight to nine weeks, yep. Okay. They've had enough socialisation with their mates by then. Yeah. If you Google 51 seconds you can afford to lose, you will see my face everywhere holding a snapper. This is Reddit, and this video on Amy Schumer's vagina went 90,000 upvote, which is pretty big on Reddit, I think, as far as upvotes go. And it was on the front page of Reddit for a couple of days. It received many, many views. Okay, uh, that would have been good for me, except for the simple fact that... Uh, I didn't post it, it got stolen from me. It got stolen from me by this bloke here called Josh Margo. And he called it uh, Clay's Taller Story. Uh, and he received a lot of subscribers. He had no subscribers on his channel or content. And then he put this up and he got um, he got a few views. He got over 600,000 views, but he also got a lot of subscribers. Uh, he did that by stealing it and not asking me for it. So that was the beginning of it, but then it started to go really big. While he got like 600,000 views, other people stole it. Uh, FNQ Hooked, Australian apparel company that's got amazing clothes that's all like Aboriginal design. They took it without asking me as well. And their page, I'll just zip back to there. Now, um, they got, jeez, uh, I think it was close to a bloody a million on it or something. Where are we? Yeah, it got the one million views. So um, I wrote and said, uh, it's great you share my content, but you actually took it from my page. You didn't share it from my page. You took it and then you post on your page like it's your post. And these guys were actually cool. They wrote back and said, sorry, and they're going to give me some free shirts. They're not the only one to give me free shirts. Trademark have given me this one and another one. And they didn't steal anything from me. They just said, hey, we love your stuff, man. Here's a shirt. Trademark is a company that makes shirts to bring awareness to... Uh, mental illness and they've made me an advocate of that which I'm proud to be and for the first time in my life I'm wearing pink. Going back to here, uh, plenty more sites it went on. It went on The Hub, it's a New Zealand media site. Um, they posted it, it went on radio on many channels. Uh, what else? It went on this one here, I don't know who that is. I got this message from Jackie and Nelson who works in media and she said, Clay, you are on Upworthy and I said, what's Upworthy? And she said, it is the biggest Facebook page in the world that has only viral videos and you guessed it the video wasn't from my YouTube channel it was from the other blokes called Clay's Tallest Story so why didn't it go viral off my video simple reason is that my channel my YouTube channel has hunting and it's been put on restricted for many things and just doesn't get seen so it doesn't matter how good a content I create I'll never really get that big but that's okay a problem shared is a problem halved. And on my channel, 8,000 views. That's the original one. And that's it. So, you know, over half a million on the guy that stole it. Does that make sense? Well, it does if you understand how the algorithm works and if you post hunting content. And it got posted on many other Reddit pages. Anyway, bottom line is that if you create content, it gets stolen from you. And there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, had it been linked to Clay Tall Stories channel right now, I'd be I'd be I'd be laughing because this has had millions of views worldwide and on all different platforms. But of course, that didn't happen. Am I pissed off about that? Not even that much. At first, it was like, come on, man! I've never had a viral video. Now I've got one. I don't even own it. It's not even my content. Like, I get no good out of it. So, but am I pissed off with that? Nah, I'm actually very happy because the message was, if you're in trouble, call out.
and that's what I wanted to get spread. So, uh, yes, I could have made lots of money out of it and had lots of uh, new subscribers, but really, what does it all matter in the big picture? It doesn't. And I've got a pretty bloody uh, blessed life, so the message is out there. That's what became of that. I am going to take, I was going to say the dogs for a walk, but I can't because I've just lent them to young Jody. And uh, what was his mate's name? Oh, it'll be in the video because that'll be on before this. I forgot his name. He's from the Chatham Islands. But I'm going to check out puppies because uh, it's that time of day just to say that they're okay. Pose come up. G'day, guys. How you going? Hey, how you going? Hey? G'day. You're quieting out to see me. I've got no food, sorry, this time. Hey? First down here was this fella here. Hey? Hey? G'day. Okay, oh, there goes my boy. This is my big boy. He's the biggest and he's the last out. He's probably asleep. You having a pee there, are you? They'll all be having a pee. They've just woken up. Yeah. I'm going to go into town and buy some food. Hey, Po. Yeah. Hey, good girl. You can see I've got that bit of hose to stop her cutting herself on that. You alright? I'm going to get some more grub for you. Get a hairy. Oh, you're not the big boy. Yeah, this is the big boy there. That's him there. That one there's a big boy. He's a big boy, man. He's big. You look at the size of this guy, man. He's the biggest of all. He's way bigger than the rest, eh? Look at this guy, would you? Eh? That's a big boy, eh? He's a beautiful boy. What a dog, eh? He's a good boy. Lovely dogs. This guy's going back to bed over here. I'm back in. They've got a nice woolen underlay. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Well, I hope you're not going taller on there, are you, mate? No? That's oh, a little girl. She's sweet. Yeah, he's a big boy. This guy here, he's massive. A big boy. I'll zoom out a bit. All having a toilet out here. The run's working well. So I'm gonna head on into town and get some tucker because I've run out. Jeez, I eat a lot. The po's not really not feeding so much anymore, are you? You've had enough. I've taken all this out of the kennel, it was yucky. I'm gonna throw that away. Biff it that was yesterday, I took it out and put fresh stuff in. Alright, Po. We'll head off. Uh, that is today's little vlog on the farm. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope everything's going well in your life with your dreams and aspirations and things you're trying to make come true. And I just want to say thank you very much for uh, watching the vlog and joining me on the farm. Keep cool, keep it real, and be good. And if you can't be good, well, you know, be careful. Especially this time of year because a lot of nutcases driving around. Oh, mate. Just lying down there, eh? Not doing much these days. Didn't say you could come into the picture, Poe. Where you go? Where you go? Talking to me, main man, Bruno. He's a good boy. He's a good dog. He's a good boy. Poe, get out of the picture. Every time. She just wants to be on camera. I'm sure of it, eh? Stay outside.